Hello dear viewer, dear listener, my name is Mumpulu Kiburuma Mokhobi. It is a privilege once again to come to you in this uh, podcast of ours, known as Mokhobi Nuggets of Wisdom Podcast. Do I have an exciting guest for you today? My guest today is Dr. Lesedinyana Udiseng, who is an ex-classmate of mine, a good friend of mine, uh, a medical doctor of repute, but I normally let my guests speak for themselves. Dr. Udisen, welcome to the studio. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much for the invitation. The, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing that my, my audience would probably want to know is who you are and what your credentials are. Especially on a subject we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the eight pillars of wellness. And then in addition to that, we're going to have one or two bonus points that relate specifically to Batswana. My name is Dr. Les Odissing, the Sedinian of Odissing. I call myself Les because when I was studying in the UK, my poor would not say the Sedinian, they call me Les, so he calls me Dr. Les. Mm -hmm. I specialize in the field of sports and exercise medicine. I'm a specialist physician, in other words. Went to medical school, finished that, and then spent a further seven years studying at a specialist level. So essentially, I look after people who have, um, uh, uh, who have sporting needs and exercise needs. Wonderful. And uh, you have a practice here in Raborone? Yes, I practice uh, at Pokamsa Private Hospital. I've got a small clinic, we call it Moso Clinic, which stands for uh, Medical Occupational Sports and uh, Orthopedic Clinics. And it's based on Pokamsa Private Hospital. It also stands for Morning in Sichuan, <laughs> which is wonderful. That's because you want to choose it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Listen, uh, we're talking about eight pillars of wellness today. Mm. Why this subject? Why is it important, you believe, to talk generally about eight pillars before we go into specifics? It's very important because for us to uh, just to live in general, we need to be quite healthy mm -hmm. and very well. So that's a, a very, very important subject. And the great thing is that we can do something about it ourselves mm -hmm. without help from outside. It's within our control. It is within our control. All right. Let's break it down. The first one, the first pillar is social. Mm -hmm. Speak to that one. Break it down for us. Yes, let me just go before we end that. Because traditionally, we used to think in terms of health as just simply the absence of disease, uh, whether mental or, or, or physical. But now we have a broader comprehension, which are the eight pillars that we talk about. Mm. Um, starting with the social aspect, is that um, this means connecting with other people to form good relationships. Uh, positive relationships. Uh, mm. We know that modern life is very stressful, mm -hmm. it's very demanding, and um, if you have people to talk to, uh, support a uh, support system who can listen to you and uh, understand your problems, that could be very, very, very helpful. Uh, I'm very lucky because I grew up with people from such as yourself. We form social relationships from when we were quite young. Mm. Quite often it's quite difficult to do that as you grow older. Mm. But when you go into any neighborhood, you know, you've got people that you live with mm. which you can form relationships with such that if you've got any problems or modern life or children, the problems at school or social problems you call upon. So in other words, this social thing is the opposite of being a loner or being an introverted person. Absolutely. Is it important for health yeah. to interact with others? It is very, very, very important to interact with others because if you look at um, suicide rates around people, people who stay alone are more likely to kill themselves, mm -hmm. are more likely to be depressed. And a lot of studies from all over the world and demonstrate that people with a good social system mm. are happier than others. Mm. Now, modern science sort of thing now we've got about um, social media, mm. which is, although it's got its negative effect, often it can help when you are away from your friends to be chatting with them online too. It keeps, them, keeps you in touch with that's, them. That's, that's the other that's aspect is spiritual. Are we talking religion here or is it broader than that? It's broader than religion. It's not just a religious aspect or any specific belief system. It's about um, trying to look for a sense of purpose or direction mm. or meaning. Um, uh, uh, without that, you actually lose yourself mm. in the modern world. Mm. Okay, um, You can cultivate spirituality through things like meditation, prayer, which is religion mm. and other activities. I prefer to fall for long walks and that's, that's very good, going to football matches. So that can actually uh, make you the person that you are. So it's not just so even going to a football match is a spiritual activity. It's a spiritual activity. If you've been to football matches... I've seen, you, I've seen you in your social media posts where you assume that lotus position like you are meditating. Is that an indication that it's really spiritual? <laughs> it's an indication of the belief that when you do that type of thing, you actually 
go on and intrigue other people. I'm not all wrong with that, by the way. Mm. And I said the time, mm. other people in England, in America, Australia, when Liverpool is about to play, who do the same thing. So there's that connection. I think we should have started that a lot earlier. We used to lose miserably. So we, yes, but absolutely. I noticed that they are winning consistently. Yeah, actually, it's not when they were playing against Barcelona and they were listening to the Nila, then they came to Anfield. And a couple of us started doing that. We saw them winning, so we were quite thinking it works. Whose idea was it? Uh, one of my cousins in the UK just did that. Uh, he sent me a message saying, this is, I'm doing this to help you. And I did it. And I like that guy in the United States did it. And then we came from heaven one. So how many people do it collectively now? Probably about 10 or so. Yeah, but still developing this spiritual mm -hmm. thing, considering mm -hmm. that in, in African culture, mm -hmm. we believe in what we call African mm -hmm. uh, you know, ancestors and so on. Yeah. Is that still covered under the spiritual element? It is wellness? Indeed, it is covered. And when you're in, in problems, you can think about your grandparents or grandparents. All your, your ancestors are going to come and mm. help. I mean, I think the same is with the church, really. Mm. Because you are quite upon those who came before you here. Who knew this land? Mm. And I think that's part of that. So, so it's an important pillar of it wellness. Is, it is a very important pillar of wellness. Okay. Okay. Then the one that uh, comes next, number three, is intellectual. Speak to that one. Yeah. Well, your brain is like a muscle. If you don't use it, it starts getting very lazy. Mm. So you have to try and exercise at all times. Okay, You start uh, continuously engaging your mind. People do it in different ways. Some people will learn new skills, knowledge, new books. Uh, to look at things that challenge you, mm -hmm. so that to build up this. I started you know, a YouTube channel. That's I mean, exactly. That's why you look so well. Thank you very much. So people to engage in sort of like a lot of brain games. So the one is called Sudoku, where they got numbers and things like that. Like, so I can do I think it's called. Yeah, yeah. They, it's in newspapers. People do that type yeah. of thing. They, you know, puzzles. And, and so what are you saying to the audience, to the listeners? Are you saying they must find some activity mm -hmm. which keeps their mind Absolutely. engaged? engaged. I mean, holding conversations, debates and arguments, even if you disagree, mm -hmm. that itself is also helping to train your mind mm -hmm. and, you know, help your mind. Can you go deeper? Is there something going on at a, mm -hmm. a, neuro, in a neuroscience point of view or at a neurological level? I, I'm not an expert at neurophysiology. However, I think as you engage your, your brain, certain pathways start forming. Mm -hmm. That makes you easier, easy for you to solve problems, for instance. Mm -hmm. So if you consciously engage your, your brain, you come across a problem, you're more likely to be able to find the e solution easier than someone who does not. Mm -hmm. So that's, that, that's probably true. This could even mean that a person who's used to dealing with problems mm -hmm. has a better chance than a person who's not used to tackling and solving problems. Absolutely, that's, that's very, very true. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean because I, I went to medical schools, it was quite tough, really. You need a lot of different types of things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I come to uh, uh, a situation where I completely find it to my profession. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay, have you tried this? Mm -hmm. And it seems to help them in the solution of their problems. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, mm -hmm. the, other, the other one is a big one, the financial. One, mm -hmm. not see, imagine a doctor can you one financial wellness, mm -hmm. but you've included it and it's an important part mm -hmm. and it's really, from what I understand, a scientific consideration. Mm -hmm. Are you financially well? <laughs> why is that important? <laughs> it's extremely important. The reason why I included it is because quite often a lot of people comes to see with physical or men mental problem. The real origin is that they've got financial issues mm -hmm. and they're worrying all the time. They get depressed because of financial issues. Mm -hmm. So it's quite important for you to be in control of your financial um, uh, position. And in Botswana, I'm afraid that that's a lot of people in serious trouble because they don't know anything about finances. And I don't know whether it's because finance itself is not is alien to our culture as people. Mm. And the use of money, people are scared of money. Mm -hmm. Scared of that um, when they see money, they get frightened. Sometimes they spend quite easily. Sometimes mm. they want to borrow money easily. So it is this. The is says a fool and his money are part and soon parted. Does it mean that where some of us are fools to part with money easily? I think this. I, I don't want to use that word because mm -hmm. uh, it's um, it's a word that is too too It's too bit too cruel. Cruel. It's it's too bit in the house, but um, to some extent, yeah, it's just because I, I am not scared in the art of keeping that money and using that. So, uh, as a doctor, if somebody comes with financial, with this financial mess, mm. are you saying to them, go and sort out your financial mess before I can help you? No, or are you saying as part of the treatment, yeah. also look at this? 
Yes. What I would do is that desk, I would see my immediate medical needs mm. and explain exactly what the problem is. Mm. That this guy, you need to go and see some financial advice or some form mm. and try and look at this thing because the primary cause, the underlying cause is because of your amount of money. Mm -hmm. And the depression you're having, even back pain. Back mm. pain is because can be because you have um, uh, financial problems. Really? Okay. Yes. Because you're getting you're always in this position here. Mm. Oh gosh. Oh. Mm. And that puts a lot of pressure on your head. Yeah. On, on your back. On your back and uh, you know so it is a very, very, very important mm. uh, topic to tackle. And it can ripple to other areas because you stop Absolutely. exercising, you stop looking after yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it does. All these are interconnected, yes. So this can be a... Uh, and you uh, say for us, but this mm -hmm. is a specialty. So is that unusual? Have you looked at other communities to make a comparison? I, uh, unfortunately, I spent most of my time in the UK, this is both as a junior doctor and a senior doctor. And the UK is a place that I actually learned a lot of things. And, um, most of the people in the UK, uh, uh, I'm not saying all of them, uh, are financially secure. They know how to deal with financial They're literate, financially literate. Financially literate, that's the word. Mm. They're financially literate. Whereas Botswana, they're not financially literate at all. Mm. I mean, if I, you'll find this will be sitting in a studio like this, and someone comes here, the next person will be pause and say, I'm saving this pause for 2,000 pounds. Mm. Um, I'm willing to give you, they buy you, pay 500 pounds, and mm. then, you know, people with all 500 pounds, they pay 500 pounds. Mm. And some is any 2,000 pounds. Mm. Um, Mm. And the next month, the same thing happens. Mm. And then they go and borrow some money from, from someone, mm. from a trade mm. and then they owe them more money. Mm. It keeps going on and on and on and So on. it's a question of financial wellness. Yeah, yeah. financial wellness. So right. it's very, very important. So people should live within that means and plan. Mm. Plan for the future also when they go older. Mm. That's very important. Mm. Sometimes it's very, very difficult. Like it's, you, 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 you're you intimated and it can be very, very, very stressful. Mm. So if you look at that, the first thing you do, Think of ways of trying to um, to to clear it. To manage it, to, to clear it. Yeah, to clear it. The sooner you yeah. clear, the better mm. for yourself. And don't be tempted by things that you can't afford. Mm. I mean, I've seen people who are driving extremely expensive car coming to see me mm. uh, at the clinic. You see the Range Rover. Range Rover. Range Rover. That's mm. the common one. Range Rover. Mm. And the guy can't even afford to pay for a treatment that I'm suggesting. But he's driving a Range Rover. So that's very very, very common. Mm. That's a very important pillar. Well. Mm. And I think people should yeah. that. Thank you for your advice there, Doctor. Yes, I appreciate it. Yeah. Environmental is another pillar. Are uh, you talking about mm -hmm. global warming and related issues? Uh, that's uh, global maybe just one of them, but I think yeah. they can be done at a personal level. Mm. The workspace. I mean, this this office, this um, still with five months, and you might not pay for about the place. Mm. When you get in here, you just say, oh gosh, this is terrible. Mm. The workspace. You don't. You are looking for a pen. You can't find it. That's starts with itself. Mm -hmm. So those are the things you should be looking at. But program over is also very very important. You mean look? You should make sure that our working environments are clean, and environmentally healthy. Yes, your your working environment must be environmentally healthy. Your home must be environmentally. Your garden. I'm not very good at gardens because I had someone do it, but mm -hmm. I have to do it myself. Which actually, as I do it, I'm actually enjoying it, which is part and parcel of exercise, by the way. And, yeah, yeah. And it, it's, it's very very pleasing to see what you can do. So. Um, you know, it's something which is pretty good. Mm. You put, yeah, like you said, you know. So, so environmental is very broad. It's very, very broad in mm. the, um, you know, in the area. It's sometimes a little parks all over the place in the place that you live in. Mm. You have the neighbors come and clean up. Mm. You know, walking your dog in the morning in that area. Mm. It's very refreshing. Mm. So that's pretty cool. Uh, going to... I've uh, seen you in your post that uh, you do take a lot of walks. I is that part of it? Or oh, that one is just strictly physical. No, no, it's, bo it's both. It's just a combination of most of these things, really. Mm -hmm. um, you know, doing the walking is, is like I said, this guy is part of everything. Mm -hmm. It is part of my spirituality. Mm -hmm. It's part of my physical well-being. Mm -hmm. It's part of my emotional well-being. All these things come together. Yes, mm -hmm. I do it all, and often I do it for other people too. Mm -hmm. And um, I was meant to be going to the Sotu next month. For the 116 kilometer walk, but I can't make it this time. Mm. And a month later, I'm going to Switzerland to do one of those things with other people. Mm. So it is. It's, it's, it's the social element as well. It's a social element as well. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm. Let's talk physical. I think physical is really up your alley because you deal with sportsmen all the time. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I deal with sports people, but what I do is not only to sports people, to everybody. Mm. People such as yourself, mm. like uh, uh, I still kind of do my is very good, mm. uh, you know. So, so I, I do prescribe, prescribe exercise for people, um, and uh, um, sometimes I'm asked what kind of exercise. Well, the question I was going to ask you is: there an average exercise 
for a mid-age Botswana, somebody in their 50s, early 50s. <laughs> and and uh, I'm not asking for myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I really would. <laughs> I think in your 50s, if you are studying for the very, very first time, mm. walking really would be the right thing to do, which is what I'm doing now. I hear a lot of walking. I mean, mm. in general, I walked over four, around 450 kilometers. So I actually walked. How much do you have reached today? About 10. 10, sometimes 10,000 steps. No, 10, 10 kilometers. Oh, which is how many steps? Uh, no, 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 I wake up 12,000 steps. I think that's enough for me. Probably about 80, 80, 80 kilometers. kilometers yeah, yeah, I don't wake up. You know, that's, uh, I just do that. Mm -hmm. So, um, walking is very good. It's cheap. Nobody can say it's expensive. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing is, the reason I start walking is because I'm, I, I normally walk, wake up around 4 o'clock. I can't go back to sleep. It's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. It's been happening for quite a few years. So, instead of Go on the internet or whatever, mm. and watch the news. I decided I'm going to be walking instead mm. and listen to the radio for news and things like that. So, mm. you know, that's, that's how I'm best going to do a lot of exercises. Mm. However, any form of exercise anyone can do at any age, mm. you know, from the time when they start crawling to the time when they're in their 80s. Is so it a matter of degree in terms of how many hours or intensity? Yes, it is, it is a matter of degree and intensity. The older you are, you should not have the same intensity as for a young mm. person, obviously. I found that I had to quit squash because hey, it was yeah. hectic. I <laughs> should be able to play squash really. You know. but, uh, I'd like to win. So. <laughs> and my problem is if I don't win, oh, the trick is very competitive no, person. No, no, pick, 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 so like, you know, we, we can open it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so physical yeah. activity is an yeah. important yeah. thing. Yeah, the doctor the, before that kind of thing, let's get to the. The American College of Sports Medicine, they recommend 30 minutes. American? College of Sports Medicine. Mm. It's, a, it's a large sports medicine uh, 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 entity in America. Mm. They recommend about 30 minutes of brisk walking, uh, at least four times a week. Mm -hmm. That was something in the heart, but I want to make you lose weight. Mm -hmm. you know, it's just for the heart in particular. But to lose weight, you have to lose that, look at a lot of aspects. Mm -hmm. There's nutrition we'll talk about in there. Is that when the intensity goes up to lose weight? No. You start sweating and so on. No, intensity should not be too much to lose weight. Mm -hmm. It's more injurious type. That's why, you know, like a sprint, no? mm -hmm. it's, not a, it's much bigger than the... Uh, so to lose one. weight, which one is important? The injurious one, the short, the, 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 the slow walking. Okay, yeah. slow walking, the, the walking, normal. Normal, 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 just, normal, just normal running. Oh. If you can walk, sweat a little bit, but can talk. Mm. If you stop talking, it means you're, you're using, your body is breathing too fast. Mm -hmm. You can't talk. Yes. When that starts happening, it doesn't mm -hmm. happen. You are now burning a different substrate. You are burning. Mm -hmm. uh, you are not burning fat. Mm. You are burning um, uh, carbohydrates. Okay. Uh, there's, there's, there's a piece of this kind of for it. Why? Oh. That's where it is. So okay. you walk. You can talk. You can sing as you're walking. If you can do that, and you're sweating a bit, that's mm -hmm. what you need to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll find your blood pressure will come down as well. Possible. Mm -hmm. That studies to that extent a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, still on the physical, mm -hmm. what do you say about injuries? I mean. Uh, um, you deal with a lot of injuries. Yes. Is there a particular lifestyle that you encourage sportsmen to uh, um, adopt to avoid injuries? The, you know, the injuries when you're exercising, the preventive um, uh, uh, processes is to one, you warm up before you do any exercise, mm -hmm. drink lots of fluid. Let's say about half a liter mm -hmm. before, 30 minutes and 30 minutes before exercising, mm -hmm. and about a liter, uh, half a liter every hour. Mm -hmm. And even afterwards, you start uh, uh, doing that. Mm -hmm. You need someone to show you exactly what to do, how to exercise properly. Mm -hmm. If you don't do the Canadian problems. Mm -hmm. Another thing is that what you call about uh, mechanics, the way your body is shaped can predispose to injury. That has to be addressed first before you can start. Mm -hmm. Even just the shape, whether you are so round or. Yes, or your legs look that way. Yeah. Out, shake, uh, like yeah. All those things can actually have an impact on the, on your own, on your own injuries. Okay. Like, whether right. you're a lady, ladies are more likely to get injuries than men. You know, those are the things that have to be addressed. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move on to nutritional. This is really the, f the, mm -hmm. the number of it, isn't it? Isn't yes. that the heart of it? Because it's what we consume. Yes. You know, there's a saying about goes in, must come out. Mm. If you want to have a steady state, that's all you're saying. If you want to have? A steady state of weight. Mm -hmm. What goes in must come out. Mm -hmm. What goes in is the food you eat, including mm -hmm. drinks, everything. I've, I've, I've heard that using computers, garbage in, garbage out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. 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 And the, what comes out is what you call basic metabolism. Like when you're sitting there, mm. you are actually metabolizing things, you're using energy. Mm -hmm. That's genetically determined. Mm -hmm. The second thing properly can do that as well. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. The second thing is the amount of activities that you do. Mm -hmm. And the final thing is yeah, the, the amount of activities that you do. Mm -hmm. But 
The food you eat is the most important component. Exercise only contributes 30% to weight loss. Why do you take 30% of it? Really? 30%, yeah. 70% is just nutrition. It's nutrition. Mm. <laughs> 70% is nutrition. Well, then the next question is, what should we be eating then to maintain Well, them? you remember when we addressed the primary school, we talked about a balanced diet. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what you have to do. But I just remembered it to pass the exam. So I don't, <laughs> for now, what, what is really... <laughs> the balanced diet is one, is one that has all the nutri nutrients in it. Mm. There must be vegetable food and veg in it. There must be a bit of protein, not much. Mm. There must be um, some carbohydrates, a little bit of fat in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fifty percent of what you're eating might be food and veg. Okay. Fifth, half of more than, than fifty percent. Uh, about fifty percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the rest should be divided more towards carbohydrates. But I'm told not even at long one city. Mm -hmm. I've read that you shouldn't mix vegetables and fruits. Who said that? I've read somewhere. You uh, can. In okay, one. You can. There's yeah. no. There's no Scientific is why you shouldn't do Yeah, that. okay. So, okay. so you can just I, have I think you'll find that that was probably part of a, a specific diet mm. they were doing. Mm. And chances are they were going to try and get control over the way you do things mm -hmm. so they can control for other things. Mm. Yeah. 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 So I've heard mm. crazy things, especially mm. on the internet, about the Atkins diet. Okay, yeah, half the doctor saying it's crap. It's it's crap. Half the doctor saying it's wonderful. <laughs> 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 well, do you know something about the Atkins diet? I think yes, I think that's when they, they improve a lot of they said you go into ketogenic state where you put lots of proteins into yeah. proteins. Yes. Uh, that's completely nonsense as well, best case. It's just a question of time to control how, how, how much calories are taking in. Mm-hmm. Whether all by the basically, if you lose your calories, you lose weight. Mm -hmm. You lose weight. What they're trying to do there, they're trying to, they will, you'll find that they've manipulated such a way that. Manipulated. Yeah, they're manipulating the number of calories you're taking in. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. What are you the blood group, like completely monsters, blood group diet? Well, I have a book by a guy called Dadama talking about four blood types. Yes. Which right. says, it used to say I should avoid eating what? Meat. Yeah. And then I should avoid eating oranges. And as a matter of mm. fact, I stopped eating meat <laughs> at, at some point. I mean, red meat. Mm. And it, I seem to lose weight. I seem to enjoy that lifestyle. No, chances are you're taking it healthier. The meat have fat in it or something like that. Yeah. Because mm. now I eat the exactly opposite what they should be doing, but I'm fine. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, it's totally nonsense, really. Basically, yeah, really <laughs> <laughs> total nonsense is very strong. No, total and utter nonsense. Yes. They're just trying to control about the calories. Mm -hmm. you know? Now I eat a normal diet. Mm -hmm. you know, just have to swallow hell. That's yeah. what I eat. That's yes. what I eat. Well, and I then, believe you because when we grew up, mm -hmm. um, when we used to eat traditional okay. food, yeah. we never used to have funerals for people younger than eight. Yes. Yeah, or yes, younger than yeah. ninety. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm yeah. talking when we're growing up. We're yes. going to say the yeah. Yeah. Now eighties, uh, you know, nineties, and mm. now these days, yeah. it's common to have funerals for people under twenty, and, uh, under you, under thirty. Under 30. So some people are getting heart attacks. Mm. Attack. You know the way to do clavard beans. Fat. It's a do fat, right? Mm. Ask someone who's about twenty years now; they won't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Because the word is not used. Mm -hmm. But we used to use it because it was right for someone to be fat. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we're using it. In fact, it was a, it was a term of endearment. Yes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> some people. Like like that. Traditionally, um, yeah, some big person is yeah, was supposed to be very healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But break that down for me, doctor. Mm -hmm. Why is it that we're... Uh, is it directly because of diet? Or is diet and lifestyle? that our lifespan seems, on the face of it, I don't know what the statistics they're saying, yeah, it's, it's, but on the face of it, it seems our lifespan has decreased. Yeah, it's a combination of both. I mean, there are lots of other things such as the HIV AIDS which came to the patient, but now Botswana should be, should, that should not be a problem now. Mm. We know that shouldn't be a problem because if you look at mother to, uh, to baby transmission mm. in HIV, the babies can be HIV negative, mm. which means the mothers are controlled. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a viral control that's normal, mm -hmm. you have no virus in the system. Yes. But it's there hidden, but you can't detect it. Mm -hmm. you, you live a normal, normal life. So mm HIV -hmm. is no longer a problem. Mm -hmm. So our problem is lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Food we eat mm -hmm. is wrong. Mm -hmm. When you go to a funeral, uh, not a funeral, a wedding, mm -hmm. you find that the stamp or something is not white. Mm -hmm. It's a different color. It's yellowish. Yeah. Because they put uh, Sometimes no matter really into it. Mm. Most are high, high, high in fat. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> when you go to a film, they don't kill. In the olden days, it was just one cow. Now it's four or five cows. Why is it? Yeah, because yeah, every, for some reason they want to feed everybody yeah. over. And they give you a lot of things to eat. They give you a lot. That's why we're getting fatter. Mm. We don't do any more exercises. Mm. Most of the time, you drive to go and buy a paper. Means no. When you're going to, to your friend's place, which is still house up the road, you mm. don't walk there. 
your brother. I take it you don't mean pe- me personally. Not do you, I mean. <laughs> 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 I understand that. I not understand that. No, you, like I said, you look very good. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm joking. Yeah. yeah. So, it's the question of the lifestyle is very, very, very different because genetically we're the same as our grandparents. Mm. You know. So, there's no reason why we should not live after the 90s. But shouldn't you, as doctors and doctors' associations and cancer associations, mm. shouldn't you be screaming on rooftops and making as much noise? as possible to conscientize the public and to inform the government that things are going wrong big time. Oh, we are saying that all the time. Like over the past two years, the government has been talking really about this non-communicable diseases. Mm. It's been all over the time. There's been you know, a lot of um, this health um, uh, days. Mm. They are talking about it continuously. I know, mm. I mean, for the past four or five years, they've been doing that. On radio, they talk about it all the time. But is, it, is there a discernible change? There's no discernible change in terms of the overall level of uh, Obviously, because that's a different, it's very difficult to change your lifestyle, it's not very easy thing. Yeah. Because the mental thing, you know, to change from what you are used to doing, that's not, it's not just the home you need chocolate and this like that. Yeah. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. And for someone to tell you to stop you then to, cut, to start running, you know, it's not, it's not that easy. <laughs> television. Yeah. 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 Television all the time, the children, the thing at home, instead of, we just go and run outside and play football. Yeah. What yeah. do they do? They play football with this computer, that's mm, not. They sit in like rooms. Yeah. Let's go to the emotional. I think there's also yeah. a big one. Yeah. The, eighth, mm, uh, the eighth pillar of health yes, yeah, is yeah. emotional. Yeah. Explain that. To yeah, us. Just kind of, like the stars of they're all interconnected. The stars of, 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 of life are huge. Mm. Financial stresses, all other stresses. They mm. give us um, uh, 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 mental illness, mm. depression, anxiety, stress mm. at work. That's mm. all involved in that. Mm. Mm. How do we like, counteract it? How do you deal with it? Uh, this kind of, I think really we need to have more psychologists kind of touch as to how to, um, to deal with those type of problems. Mm. Um, what I do, for instance, well, I, you need to have, what do we have forgot to mention about physical sleep? Sleep is important. Mm. You have to have good enough sleep. Seven, what eight hours? Yeah, seven to eight hours. Mm-hmm. My mind is about six. six Mm-hmm. But then, seven to eight, yeah, because uh, b- b- the thing is, for me, if I'm sitting here with you for the time, I can sleep here just mm-hmm. like that. Take you know? a nap. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So you know, they all come together. Mm-hmm. But we are not. We have very find how to to do this type of problems. Mm-hmm. Now, relaxation is very very important to do mm-hmm. this thing. Mm-hmm. What we are taught when we actually struggle with medical school for the stress or that kind thing, just take a deep breath through, deep breath through your nose. And out, and you close your eyes, take a deep breath through your nose again, and out through your mouth. Okay, you mm-hmm. exit the same, but close your eyes, and also imagine the oxygen going into your nose and falling through the, to the lungs, to the lungs yeah. and out. Do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. And out. I have yeah. to actually picture the lungs. Yes, okay. it goes through the lungs. When you do that, you don't think of anything else. Yeah. Your mind is blind. Oh, yeah. so it's important to, to, to yeah. wipe the mind clean. <laughs> yes. Because you are stressed because the chemicals are forming in your blood, your, 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 your systems. Mm. That's why you are stressed. Mm. So what this does is to try and clear that. You've got a short heart life, they clear very quickly. Mm. But if you keep doing that throughout the day, mm. it means that the levels of those chemicals are going to go up. Okay. Like that, right? okay. So that's a simple thing I want to do. So still on the subject of emotional health, mm. we as Botswana, there's a misperception mm. that if you go to a psychiatrist or a psychologist, you must be a little local. How do we address this misperception? That's not only in Botswana, there are in most other places. Yes. Well. I think except so the United States where I going to uh, a psychologist is a It's a normal. Yeah. It's not only normal, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a fashion statement. Yeah, it shows <laughs> that you're doing well. Yeah. <laughs> How do we shift the perception? Uh, it's, it's just a matter of education, really, but mm. it's, that's quite difficult. Mm. I mean, even some people come to me when I know that this kind of problem is, is not physical. Mm. Telling that this kind of, this is a, a, a psychological issue. Mm. They, want, they, they find hard to accept, mm. you know, they find hard to accept. In the end, the person just falls. Boom. You don't know what the problem is. Most of the time, now I'm able to pursue against the psychologist. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, just go for a couple of sessions. And Could it be also that they're expensive and normally when you go to, um, mm. to Sbrana, Sbrana has a but, uh, well, I'd, uh, quote unquote, uh, entrenched reputation of dealing with only with nut, nut jobs. I don't think that's getting some of these pe- people who have mild mental energy to be some hard to be honest because mm. of the, um, the fact that people think mental illness is problem. There's a taboo about mm. mental illness. Yes. So they should have small clinics where people can go to. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if there is a lot of around in Botswana. So do you have uh, places you recommend for that purpose? 
No, there are individual people that are sample. Oh, okay. Like so if somebody has a problem, maybe they could get in touch with you. Okay? Yes, yeah. yeah. And then I can just comment. Oh. Like I said, I'm not going to cut off to some extent, but because this type of therapy takes a long time. As we get to the end of our discussion, I think just to touch on two aspects. I think we've covered the eight, yeah. we've beautifully covered the eight uh, pillars of, of health, yes. of, or pillars of wellness, yes. as you put it. Mm. Uh, now, can you just conclude by telling us um, what is the state of the nation in general mm. and way forward for that child? Well, we've already covered about the state of the nation that basically we're very unhealthy. Mm. Unhealthy in terms of most of the things right here, mm. talking about it. And, um, Obesity is going on the increase, which means diabetes, hypertension, high blood pressure, and heart problems are going up. Mm -hmm. Really, a lot, the things we can do for ourselves is just increase how much exercise we're doing, really, mm -hmm. and watch our diet very, very carefully. Other things that can be done at, um, at the level of restaurants mm -hmm. is to make sure that we serve uh, good food. Mm -hmm. I've been to have talks whereby we do our best at black and you know, I, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I've been there. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Thank it's you. fantastic. Yeah. But others are also mm -hmm. And try to get people to understand that fast food is not the way forward. Mm -hmm. Just try to get the things we used to eat as much on. Mm -hmm. Those are extremely healthy. Mm -hmm. They're very cheap because I buy mine right, in the mall. Mm -hmm. You know, it's this lady say in Midi mm -hmm. and um, Dinawa. Mm -hmm. That's why I buy mine. Yeah. So they're very, very cheap and are easy to prepare, mm. and that's the kind of thing you should be going for. Mm. And um, at a mental level, there should be um, a control on how much sugar is in various things that you actually buy. Mm. Because I thought I was looking for um, a, a low calorie drink, and I couldn't find one in a, mm. in a supermarket. Going around is just difficult. Mm. So those are the things that can be done as legislation. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much. It remains for me to ask you, as I thank you very much for yes. coming, mm -hmm. to ask you how our listeners can get in touch with you and where yes. you're available on social media as well. Yes, and I, I, you know, if you can look at the camera, the set up, okay, then the camera is the setup. Okay. Yeah. yeah, actually, I'm available at Bukamasa Private Hospital, Moso Clinics. Mm. If you Google Moso Clinics, you'll come to the website. Mm. If you go on on Facebook, Moso Clinics, once again, is available on, uh, uh, on Facebook. Mm. And uh, the number is this Bukamasa number. Uh, 369, which is the code for Bukamoso, mm. and it's 4776 for our uh, bookings. Mm. But you know, Google even my name, that's what I already say, you know, the website will come through as well. Okay, now can you take a moment to mm. tell our listeners why and what? Uh, no, tell them to get in touch to, to subscribe to our channel, which is Moobe Nuggets of Wisdom. Actually, um, I actually watched the very, very first one because I don't know anything about real estate and like that. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. it's, it's beautiful. You can just, you know, subscribe to it on YouTube. It's wonderful. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. You've been a wonderful guest. No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm.